When a train runs over the track, different types of forces work over the coach and the bogey. To overcome these forces, different types of components are used in the bogey. In this video, we will learn about the LHB Bogey Traction Center. It is a part of the LHB Bogey, and it transmits the tractive forces and braking forces between the body and the bogey. Here, I am trying to share the tractive force through the graphic. The tractive force takes place at the point of contact, which is between the wheel and the rail, where the torque of the motor converts to a force that is tractive force. The same as the braking force, when a force applied to the brakes of a vehicle creates the friction between the brakes and the wheel that reduces the kinetic energy of the vehicle, slowing it down. LHB Bogey maintain these forces through the traction center. I hope you understand the tractive and braking forces. Let's see its parts and how does it work. Bolster beam. Traction lever. Rod. Rubber bush Plate Elastic joint And pin It is provided with two traction rods, which connect the crossbeam of bogey and the traction center. The traction center transmits traction and braking forces between bogey frame and the body by a traction lever on the bolster beam pin and two rods. The traction lever is connected to the bolster beam by a rubber bush and plate. It is tightened with screws. The rods are connected to the cross beam by elastic joints and screws. Finally, when a train runs, all forces transmit through the axle, bearing and wheels. Let's see how it works. The vertical force transmits from the body to the bogey frame through the secondary suspension springs, from the bogey frame to the axles, through the primary suspension springs, bearing and control arm. Lateral force transmits from the body to the bogey frame through the secondary suspension springs, from the bogey frame to the axles through the elastic elements of the frame, axle, bearing, and control arm. Longitudinal traction and braking force transmits from the body to the bogey frame through the traction lever and traction rod. Finally, the force transmits from the bogey frame to the axles, bearing, and control arm. Friends, this video is a very hardcore content video. Please watch again and again carefully. If you watching this video, share your comment with us, and also share this video to helps others. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop your learning.